All right, we're back, back with his wheel. <clears throat> so we you need to remove these rotors because I don't have the right kind of. So you don't like those rotors? These are warped. Those are warpedies. You get pull the brake and it goes. <laughs> just so I was going to ask if you had the right size hub because I thought that had a big hole in it, but you got a late wheel, so yeah, a two thousand later wheel yep. makes it easier. These are not warped very bad either, but they are warped. Well, you and uh, you try to pull the front brake and it doesn't even work hardly okay, at all. Throw them on the floor. Down there. Fine. There you go. works on it. But... <clears throat> so, torch. Yeah, we have one. We used it not too long ago. The one that's still one. sitting here. We're going to put that's probably the same, the right one. Probably the same one. Oh, look at that. I'll be darned. We got the zip gun right there. So, we need the adapter. Oh, for the big dog, huh? I thought we used a zip gun on it last time. No? One more adapter. What's the other adapter? You still have a bunch of adapters over now they're all missing. Well, like everything else. Light Put out the light. You turned it off. I haven't even my finger nowhere near it. Where's my adapters at? I can't do anything without an adapter. Did you steal my adapters? I did not. I had like two or three. I don't steal. Let's see. Where are they all at, Danny? We had it out before because we used it. What did you do with it? I thought we used a zip gun on it last time. We did use a zip gun. We put it out there. It takes an adapter to use a zip gun. That zip gun is a 3 8 drive, isn't it? There we go. Found it? Well, it's a different adapter. This is a brand new one. That's Half the 3 8 Because the other two that were over here are missing. Well, they must be somewhere around here. So we have a 200 foot pound zip gun. I thought that was the one we used last time. Ingersoll ran. No. When you put this in there, go with this. Go, boop, 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 boop. And then you're done. Really? Because the back and forth is what rips the heads off. So it's only, uh, maybe we use it only to put it back on then. So then we take the uh, big Ingersoll ram that puts out whatever. Nice. Yeah. 700. It's an old one. The new one's probably put up 1200 with this old one. So you can hear the hammer in this one. I think that I already had them off last time. We just put so we put them on. You use this gun. It has a hammer like this, hitting on it. <laughs> when you, you use, use the big boy one, <laughs> it's like you have this hammer hitting on it. <laughs> or bigger even, huh? Yeah. Now, when you use the big ass air gun. <clears throat> oh no! This uh, one. Yeah, that'll do it. This is like sixteen. All Ingersoll ran too. Huh? This is like sixteen hundred torque pounds. Damn. At you know eighty pounds pressure, I put one hundred eighty pounds. It might be hard. That's like a six pound sledge on that one, huh? Now this one's like hitting on that big lead hammer over there. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah, hammer. good example right there. You can hear the hammering on this one. Damn. <clears throat> I didn't even know you had that one. So That's the one key inch. Is side? to three shock ball. the bolt and break it free right. before I have a chance to strip. To strip, I thought. If okay. you keep beating on this with this, it just beats it out and it strips it. You're done. Yeah, I think we used that one just to put them on last time. Now this one's either going to strip it instantly, or it's going to come out instantly. There's no in between. Okay. <laughs> if it strips it out, we have to drill the bolt out. Just drill the stud, the top of the oh, head off. Stripping the stripping the, the threads, or not the threads, but the uh, the head of the bolt. Where the torque goes on. Yeah, and then you see how the drill it pops off and it comes out anyway. Here we go, folks. But the key is to hit it hard and fast. Now, you do use some of your torque going through the adapter, but not much. Make sure you got it all the way in, push yeah. down on it. Yeah. Make sure you go in the right direction. All the way out. And just give it a blip. Hmm. If it takes more than two hits, it strips it. Now, these don't have lock on them, so they're not very tight. You gotta make sure you're all the way down, though. Yep. Because it will just round it right off. Hmm. And every, uh, these are heavy duty bits, real strong ones. Yeah. And they snap off. No every, hole in the end of them? No. Security bits with them? They, uh, they break, they get ripped off all the time. They break them off. After you do about eight or ten uh, jobs, it'll rip the bit off. <laughs> <laughs> then you gotta go get a new bit. Now, someone asked if you put the tire on the bike straight yet. Yes, I did. I turned it around. The, the, the correct direction, you mean? It's tired the same way. You just flip it on the bike, right? <laughs> I just no. I left it. It, it, uh, it just flip flops one way or the other. You know? Twice I've had it off and back on, and I put it back correctly. Yeah, the wheel's the same. Goes on either way. Just flip it around. Yeah. <laughs> I did not have to take off the. Uh... Now do not install these with that because it will definitely 
Yeah, that's why we use the zip gun to do them last time. Yeah, they do have that built in uh, Loctite on the skin. Alright, I'm just gonna put a new one on. Fuck it. Yeah, gonna... But these are worn out. <laughs> that Loctite's worn out. Yeah, brand new wheat, brand new screws, man. You only get for one time? We do the rotors. They're right there between that box. Yeah. So we need to put some blue goo on them? No, I haven't posted any videos of what he's doing all this work yet, so Chip hasn't got back to me about bad mouthing them, so. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't bad mouth them. I don't think we bad mouth them much, did we? I said they were scratch, Chip's scratch dis and dent. Chip's discount, discount place or something. Scratch and dent sales, all I said. Oh, yeah. The fact that they're not deep bird is that's a production issue. All right. <clears throat> Do we need some Loctite? I just put something on there. It doesn't need red. No. Blue? Blue's fine. You know, I get overboard on that stuff when I do it. On the back, I put red on the, on the yeah. sprocket pulley. Whatever. Not the disc, but the, mm -hmm. the drive part. I don't know what this yellow stuff is I got on here. That's that factory, factory stuff. Factory, uh, put some Harley like that was already on there. Yeah, but I don't know how good it is. It's probably not that good. I've seen some orange type stuff they had too back in the Didn't day. Didn't make them off real easy right now? <laughs> yeah, they was worn out. This was hey, like, will a 19 inch rim like that fit in your bead blasting machine? Uh, it's only a three foot cube. No, it would fit then. <laughs> what, you want the tire off? Oh. Someday, when I buy a new tire, I'm going to have the whole thing bead blasted with tire off, yeah. But I don't, you, what medium do you use on your thing? Do you have little glass beads in it or what? Your, your, stuff, your stuff comes out shiny though, you know, like super clean, white looking. Well, you got two levels of beads. You got the AC, which is coarse, and you got the a, uh, AG, which is fine. And you've got what, AG? Or both? I have both. Depends on what I'm using. And then the uh, sand, <clears throat> I use 150 grit sand, which is real fine. So it's, you got clear coat like this wheel would have on you, you probably want to use the sand. Hmm. Then you go over it with a real fine to make it gleam real shiny. And then you put that tech line coating clear on it and it'll stay that way for years. Where do you buy that stuff at? Paint store? Tech line coatings. Yeah, you write to them, huh? Okay, now, now we're going to use our regular gun. We're going to hand start the switch first or what? Just ram them in there. I don't know, I lost my bit. There it is. Somebody stole my damn. Adapter. You oh, go. when you're filming me working on the bike up here, yeah, was I too close? Don't film my balls. Film my when I'm working. How was I filming your balls? Because you're not watching through the camera like you're not watching right now. I, I thought See, I, I'm talking. I've been trying, watching me. I've been trying to break. Oh, up here when you're talking? talking. Oh, not looking at my balls. I was looking at the damn motor, the, the wheel. So, All right. You don't look through the camera. You look through that. So. There have been a few comments. I know fucking people are so picky. Yeah, uh, you can't call them fucking viewers because. You don't know if they're actually doing that or not. They can be such a pain in the ass sometimes. Who, me? No, them. <laughs> the comment people. Oh, the commenters. Some guy asked some stupid question about your bike, too. I forget what it was. What I did do it or something to make it run good or something. You not know, telling all the secrets. You know, there's a hundred damn videos in the playlist. Go watch the damn thing. Show you everything we did, huh? It's all there. Figure it out. Jeez. Yeah. Now, do you want the flat side out or do you want the ugly side out? I think the flat side out will be fine. Okay. I'm a little worried about the uh, clearance up on the fork. They're really tight on the fork tubes on this thing. Okay, well, which direction is this bike moving? Forward most of the time. Once while I push it backwards. But Where's the arrow? The arrow's going this way. So That's that means forward. kind of rotation. So you got clearance in this. Actually, it's pretty tight. So you go, you go up the kind of rotation backwards. When you're tightening it down, that's mm -hmm. what you want to do? No, that one's not tight. No, but I mean, that's what you want to do? Well, that one, when you put the brake on it, oh, okay. you already got drag on it. It's not loose. Yeah. Take the mm -hmm. motor. Okay, now I go down and get like two or three bumps all the way down. That's bumps at the end once it goes down? Yeah, you see how I kept turning? So yeah. I keep turning. So this will put out 200 foot pounds. See, that was a hard stop on that one. Mm. Make sure you're pushing down when you do all that. Yep. Otherwise, you're ripping torque bits apart, huh? Yeah. Well, that's where brakes comes up. Assembly. You got an oil leak. Is this a Harley? Oil leak. Oh, I just washed it off. I have water, probably. <laughs> right, yeah, wrong one. Back on? Nope, wrong ones. 
So Look, it's right there. You don't like this one? No, I don't. They're warped as hell. Well, you want this one? Yeah. Now, did, was this the nice looking one or the crappy one? That's the crappy one. Okay, we put this on the left side so you can't see it? Yeah. That's the mock up wheel. Mock up uh, rotor. Mm -hmm. So, you're going to make a comment about how bad these are? That missed. Uh huh? You gonna make a comment about how great these brakes are or not? One way or the other, we'll get a comment on it. Oh, okay. Can't be any worse than these. Those ones are. It's amazing how how lousy those ones are. We'll for such a slight bend in them. We'll get a uh, road test on Chip's rotors. <laughs> now, are these currently available rotors, or are these not currently available? I think they are currently available. Oh, okay. What the four hundred piece you said? Is that pre Retail. COVID or after COVID? Retail. Uh, it's after COVID. After COVID. Galfer, Sanio Customs Centers and Galfer Outside, I think he said it was, or somebody. Yeah. Not Lindell, right? You said Lindell was aluminum? It was aluminum. Plasma coated aluminum. Super light. Okay, so now we go this one, we go this way because it's counter rotation. But see, it's tight, it's not moving. So that means you got a good cut, uh, fit on here, mm -hmm. which is good quality. Because most of those ones you buy, like Sloppy. CBCs that are real nice stuff, yeah. they loosen. They go like rattle, rattle, rattle all over the place. Really? They're loose. Oh. They're universal fit, they fit anything. So that means they don't work with the squat for anything either. <laughs> universal. And that is that. Now if you want to check the torque on those, take the plugs. That's when you round them off. <laughs> I was breaking my bit at home. I think it's good torque lunch. You now, every two or three times you put these bolts in, you wear them out. It's time to put new bolts in it. So next time you do this, it's probably time to get some new bolts. Okay. If you, if you take a close-up of that head right now, you can see how it's kind of rounded. Getting there, starting to round off. See how it's getting kind of sharp edges on it. Yep. So you got probably one more time you could do these, and that's it. Hmm. You got that. It's loose. This one's not loose. Is that one loose? This one's, this one's floating. Oh, it's floating, okay. This one's not floating very much. That's because that one's already been used already, the other side. This one's already oh, that's the rope. That's the other one, that's the tight one. Yeah, this one's tighter than this one. I thought you meant the bolts were loose on it. It's tight on this side, it's loose on this side. There you go. Alright, there you go. Beat to it. That expand a couple of times. So now when you put the uh, wheel on, which way are you going to do it? The right direction. That's going forward over there by your hand. That would be the. Uh, I saw the arrow on the other side. But the arrow was on this side. Here's the arrow. That's forward which way? So the clean looking side is the side when you're I got the bike parked like that. You can see the nice. That would be on the right. When you're on the left side and you're a dumbass, you turn your wheel like a dirt bike would be. Yeah. Then you look at the crappy side. Well, how's that going to be? They're both going to look crappy after a couple of breaks. Oh no, they run perfectly. Sure, they do. Actually, if you use Lindell pads, they don't tear up the pads very much. They don't chill rotors too much. I just want the uh, thing to break good. They right? do have pads that actually polish them a little bit as you use them, so they don't really tear them up. They polish the, the rotor? But I think Lindells are that way. Lindell brake pads. Yeah. They're expensive, but they, they don't tear the rotors up so bad. Hmm. These ones don't work for damn This one here, they were tearing them up, so. Well, that thing was tearing <clears> them up with those before we... Yeah. From the drill press there. So like I said, there are some better pads. There's pads that eat up stuff and there's pads that don't eat up stuff. So Yeah. Different ways of going. What are you filming? Me up here? You, yeah, no, you. Oh, just me? Well, I'm pointing down here. You you tell when you're camera. talking, when you're talking, you want me to have... You gotta follow the camera. All right, that's it follow for that one. Hand. See you tomorrow, folks. Uh.